What are we gonna do? Told you. We're gonna hang out. Watch a movie. Take some pictures. A period or full stop is a punctuation mark used for several purposes, most often to mark the end of a sentence. This character by itself is basically meaningless, it conveys nothing. However, something as innocuous as a period mark can take on an entire new meaning on the internet. A blank slate which degenerates or trolls adopt for their own arbitrary reasons. Typing just a period into Google or YouTube's search bar will show countless cursed or nonsensical videos. On the surface, the videos appear to serve two purposes, scaring young children or making 30-year-old smooth brain simpletons giggle. These videos contain inside internet jokes that are rarely funny, shit posts which are, well, shitty. Hi everybody, it's me, Mickey Mouse. Say, do you want to come inside my clubhouse? While I'm waiting for your fucking response, are you just not gonna say anything, dumbass? And dark videos that can be quite demented. Before you go searching for full stop punctuation, viewer discretion is advised. This exploit allows people to show gore or violent imagery in the thumbnail. These pictures include jump scares, maimings, beheadings, and sometimes sexually explicit content. The videos themselves do not show any violent acts, though if you look deep enough, you may find some that were not deleted by YouTube yet. Clicking on a full stop punctuation video is like playing a game of Russian roulette. Most of the time, the videos that don't get flicked by YouTube are not based in reality, such as claymation or animations engaging in brutal acts of violence. Other times, it's just some shit post, but you can never be sure. Shit posts are the internet's way of posting deliberately low quality images, texts, or videos on various forums. Shit posts are appropriately named shit posts because they are in a sense digital waste. And although full stop may be filled with these shit posts, on rare occasions the subject matter can get highly disturbing, depending on how deep you fall down the rabbit hole. There are claims that live murder and other heinous videos have been uploaded to YouTube using full stop as the title. Of course, in these situations, it's probably the opposite, with the thumbnails being innocent so that a child will click on it, only to be met with something gruesome. Whether or not these claims are true, they add mystery and morbid curiosity to the entire concept of full stop punctuation. You're just one click away from seeing it. And if you can't sleep because of this video, today's video sponsor has you covered. Which is why today's video is sponsored by Helix. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding customized to fit your needs, conveniently shipped in a box right to your doorstep. Everybody's different, and Helix knows that. That's why they designed a sleep quiz that helps match your unique body type to your sleeping preferences so that you can get the perfect mattress just for you. If you guys sleep with a partner or even a pet, you can take the quiz together to find the best compromise for all of you. I tend to sleep on my side and stomach and I prefer a medium mattress feel. I was matched with the Midnight Lux and I've been sleeping on Helix mattresses for well over a year now and ever since I moved, I had to upgrade from a queen to a king. Gone are the days of going to a mattress store to sit through a sales pitch only to to be sold an overpriced, uncomfortable mattress. In fact, your Helix comes rolled in a box directly to you. You don't even have to leave your house. And I actually had fun setting up my new Helix mattress. It took me just under five minutes to carry it up the stairs and watch my new bed come to life. If it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried yet in person, Helix offers a 100 night sleep trial. This gives you a little bit over three months to completely fall in love with your new mattress. And if you don't, they will come and pick it up for you, no questions asked, and you will get a full refund. 
Best of all, every Helix mattress comes with a 10-year warranty. And trust me, if Sebastian likes it, you know it's quality. They offer flexible payment plans and financing options, so a great night's sleep is never that far away. I love my Helix, and I think you would too. If you're in the need for a new bed, check out Helix. Go to helixsleep.com slash philion to get up to $200 off plus two free pillows. And thank you to Helix for sponsoring this video. By design, it's not hard to find. Any child can purposely or accidentally search up a period mark. Little do they know, they're one booger swipe away from seeing Bugs Bunny's mangled corpse. In fact, they would probably have an easier time finding this content than forming a sentence in the search bar, let alone completing a full thought. It only takes one character one dot to bypass their algorithms and spread unsettling content. So where exactly did full stop punctuation come from? Unfortunately, the origins of full stop punctuation are completely unknown. Like most internet phenomena, it's difficult to pinpoint the first source. However, there are three precursors that led to full stop's emergence. The influx of children's content, Elsagate, and YouTube's response. First, it's no secret that famous children's content has moved over to YouTube to take advantage of new platforms and grow their audiences. For a majority of media geared towards children, it's impossible to know where the information is coming from, who even made it, and what their intentions are, unless it is posted from verified channels or sources. Children's content has always amassed billions of views. There's no doubt certain freaks hop on the bandwagon to hijack original work or intellectual properties. Everything about these videos are exaggerated for the sole purpose of zapping a kid's attention span. And as you can see, there is a slippery slope of degeneracy when it comes to kids' content on YouTube. Parodies and satirical portrayals of kid shows are often altered and edited to fall under fair use. However, kids' content has one glaring problem. The audience pool is gargantuan, sure, but the niches are not. There are only so many topics children are interested in. Full stop punctuation allows people to replicate content within these niches and dominate the search results using limited keywords. This brings us to the second precursor. Elsagate, which received extensive media coverage. If you're not familiar, Elsagate was a series of highly controversial videos aimed towards children, featuring the main characters Elsa from Frozen and other child-friendly characters like Spider-Man. H3H3 discussed a part of Elsagate in his video titled, What Are These Pranksters Doing? He explains how Ethan Bradbury, his brother Mo, and other YouTube creators became a content house or factory of suggestive children's videos. Their videos featuring Spider-Man and Elsa accumulated almost 100 million views in only a month, which is astronomical. Unless this is a throwback picture, Ethan Bradbury still makes these videos. After all, he considers it work, so he must be getting paid. Unfortunately for some, these videos could leave a permanent scar on those close to them. A Reddit post, presumably made by a worried mother, states that videos like this traumatized her four-year-old with autism. Even after she removed YouTube from the picture, her son would have meltdowns and, quote, obsessively repeat the strange, distorted screeching and screaming sounds heard in many of the videos. The last precursor can be seen as YouTube's response because their inaction led to individuals exploiting SEO or search engine optimization. YouTube announced that, quote, creators would no longer be able to monetize videos that made inappropriate use of family-friendly characters. This didn't stop everyone, and videos still slip through the cracks of YouTube's moderation system. Enter full stop. Full Stop would evolve using dark nostalgia, cursed images, and found footage as the basis of its intrigue. Dark nostalgia can be defined as taking something familiar and warping it into something eerily adjacent yet off, similar to the Uncanny Valley, which most definitely elicits an emotional response. However, Full Stop punctuation is not just limited to this infamous period mark. There are other symbols and letters that can lead you to even worse content. The symbols include a slash, a comma, spelling full stop, or full stop punctuation. Taking it one step further, YouTuber Chill Fuel explains the string and how emojis are being used as well. Interestingly enough, Chill Fuel points out 
that a majority of these posts are sourced from Central America, with Spanish voiceovers. More recently, some ordinary gamers covered full stop content by talking about a search engine maneuver where you type the symbol U or pretty much any other Unicode symbol into the search bar which yields similar cursed results. In the past, Mudahar also discussed the practice of trolls or shitposters using Arabic in titles to take over search results with the associated phrases. These obscure strings of characters make it possible for members of online forums and message boards to abuse this exploit in YouTube search. Some people just like being edgy for the sake of being edgy. Whether it be the depths of 4chan or Reddit, it's obvious this exists to troll those who aren't in the loop. The fact remains. All of these different search queries contain dozens of videos with seriously questionable thumbnails. Here's a video of what looks like a woman or man on their knees. If I had to guess, it looks like a cartel video. Then you have a literal cartel execution as a thumbnail. You have self-deletion and you have sexual imagery. The thumbnails themselves are a problem, but are there any videos featuring content with this level of brutality? Yes, there are. And after watching hundreds of these videos, there are definitely violations of YouTube's guidelines. I wouldn't even be allowed to explain what I found. So, what is the point of all of this? Do some people really just have nothing better to do? I have a hard time believing infrequent shitposts and cheap scares can rake in serious amounts of AdSense. In fact, I don't even think there are main creators in this pseudo niche. Almost all of these channels are anonymous, with random profile pictures posting without a rhyme or reason. There are no through lines, no structure, and no intention. It's just aimless content. Sometimes, if they're lucky, their full stop punctuation videos will gain a few thousand, possibly a million views. These popular videos will then just sit at the top of these untapped title and search tag rankings. With such risky subject matter and guideline violating thumbnails, these channels would never see the light of day if they received actual attention. It is possible that there are some channels or videos out there profiting off of shitposting or worse. A more probable explanation would be that there's just too many bored people with weird art fetishes lurking around the internet making their way to YouTube. The perceived sinister nature of full stop punctuation is contrasted by the lackluster degeneracy needed to make this content. After all, this is why it may seem full stop punctuation on YouTube is bombarded with shit posts. Everywhere you look, you'll find low effort creepypasta memes. The goal is not to make a well-produced piece of art, rather the opposite. In every way, full stop punctuation is the proverbial gutter of YouTube, designed to scare kids or unsettle adults. Most of you watching this will search up full stop punctuation the second this video is over, or maybe you've already seen it. For everyone who hasn't, I strongly urge you to reconsider, unless you think you are strong enough to see some deeply disturbing imagery. You will most likely not even realize you've been lost in the sauce before it's too late, eventually stumbling upon on not just jokes, shitposts, or memes, but seriously unpleasant footage. Violence, crime, death, and sexual imagery can all be found without even typing a full word. It's hard to tell if YouTube is aware of the problem to its fullest extent. With most of full stop punctuation falling in lines with YouTube's terms, this isn't going away anytime soon. After all, how do you stop millions of anonymously created videos from flooding YouTube's underground cesspool? That being said, I'm gonna go bleach all three of my eyes. 